What's up guys, this is Adam from 3 dmosworldcom Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create this really quick X-ray shader using Arnold and I'm gonna show you guys and you can use like any Arnold version in any Maya and I wanna quickly show you how you can use just a few settings in the Arnold surface shader and you can have pretty good results into achieving a nice X-ray shader so without further delay, let's get started Okay, so this is the scene I have. As you can see, I have the skeleton that uh, I got from uh, our website, 3 and also I have I have here an AI uh, sky dome, which is you can let's just go here to Arnold lights, and then you can create this sky dome light. It's pretty straightforward. So this way, because uh, you know Arnold renders black if there is no light in the scene. So let's go to this uh, like a camera view, and then let's render and see what we have so far okay so so this is what we have so far it's, as you can see it's just a basic model it have blend shader on it right now uh, so it have like some of this uh, specular so let's assign new material so let's select uh, the head and then the body and then right click and then uh, assign new material and then let's do arnold uh, just a basic ai standard service okay so let's scroll back up and then here we can uh, call it like x-ray uh, shader uh, and then there's a few things we need to adjust so first uh, we want to adjust the specular here we don't need it so we can just turn it off and then for the color let's click on it and then let's click uh, let's pick some uh, some like this kind of blue we can always adjust this color later uh, and then let's scroll down and then let's go to this emission and then here we're gonna adjust some settings so now if i render so this is what we have so far so let's save this image and then let's go to this emission and then let's uh, crank it up so maybe like something 176 and let's save this image again and then let's render so you can see like it gets uh, more flat like uh, the, um, we lose some of the detail you know so and so, so that will help us it's kind of it's kind of like it's lit so that's gonna help us uh, have a more uh, better result okay so now uh, the last thing we need to do is we're gonna go to this uh, geometry section and then under the opacity we can apply a ramp so let's click on this checker box and then you can see here this ramp click on it so now the ramp type is a uh, V-Ramp and we want to uh, click here into UV-Ramp. So this way it can, uh, you know, um, work with the UVs that we already have applied into this Geo. You can experiment with these guys, like see which one will work well for you. But uh, in this case, the UV-Ramp will work well. And then here is like basically we adjust the opacity. So, you know, that uh, the white part will be like transparent or the black part will be non-transparent you know so we can adjust that so we can have some more variation here so we can have less of the opacity and more like better transition so this way we favoring more as you can see more like things showing but let's put it like into the middle something like that okay and then let's save this image and then let's render okay and then now you can see uh, the difference is pretty huge with this opacity now we can see through the bones here and then it does feel like more like an x-ray shader or like an x-ray image basically uh, applied uh, to this skeleton and then uh, you know we can rotate it around let's select like both and let me group them and then just modify center pivot and like if we rotate him around this way and then we render and you can see so the result not too bad you can always adjust the shader like um, based on the angle you have but uh, you know this this can give you some pretty good start and a pretty quick uh, shader to work with and if you want to like make it uh, brighter we can always go to this emission and we can adjust it if you want it you know you feel like you want it to be more more like uh, have more uh, lit As you can see, so now it's become brighter and this emission color you can adjust it also to be like a similar color, like blue here. And then if we uh, 
like save this image and then render so we get more the bluish color in it you know so you can uh, play with these uh, settings and the opacity will make a pretty big difference like if you adjust if you move this ramp around it's gonna influence a lot uh, how this uh, the render gonna be as you can see now we change it and there's a big difference so I want to make sure uh, you adjust it so it have more of the opacity it's less of the opacity So you can see here now this is the look we having so far so you can pl keep playing with these settings and then see which one gonna work so i change this for example for vramp and then we render you can see it looks different so each one you're gonna have uh, like a different look This is the U, so there is like all kind of stuff, and then you know you can get stylized look out of this uh, settings here. But as I mentioned, uh, if you go to the UV, that's basically gonna give you the the closest results to like an X-ray uh, image. So you see here, so it's the closest thing we can get here to X-Ray for this model is using the UV ramp. Because as I mentioned, this model have UVs on it. So if I go to the UV editor, so everything is uh, UV'd here. So you can see this, uh, the UV map in the back, the image is gonna, how it's gonna be influencing of which parts is gonna be like transparent and which parts not gonna be transparent. So you keep that in mind while you're working uh, with this kind of models when you're creating like an X-ray shader. Always a good idea to know how your UVs are laid out and then what kind of settings you can you need to adjust to get the best results. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish a new video. Feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.